A few years ago, I started shopping around for a power meter for my bike to add to my training routine. I looked at the ones that were entire crank sets, but they were a little bit too expensive for me. I also considered the power meters that were hubs, but that got a little bit too complicated since I was going to have to build a wheel with a rim that I wanted to use. And finally, I looked at the pedal power meters, but since I use Shimano SPD for mountain bike cross and gravel, that too was not a valid solution for me. So I finally landed on stages and it worked out to be the perfect solution for me. The price point was reasonable and the installation was really easy. I've owned two stages power meters now and I've had one on a gravel bike and one on my cyclocross race bike and they simply work. It's one of those components that you put on the bike and there's no maintenance other than changing the battery. Maybe every two to four months it works really well with my Garmin. Recently I've really been wanting to put a power meter on my gravel bike which is a Niner RLT9 RDO. Now that bike has SRAM Rival and with SRAM Rival the spindle is attached to the non-drive side crank arm as opposed to a lot of other ones that I've used where the spindle is attached to the drive side crank arm. And if you're familiar with Stages, you buy the non-drive side crank arm. So I reached out to Stages to find a solution and you can buy the spindles that they sell. And not only did they provide a solution for me, they also offered to sponsor my channel by giving me a crank arm and a spindle to show you guys. So here is the carbon crank arm that Stages sent me. This is the one that fits a SRAM crank set that uses a 30 millimeter spindle. And this is the spindle that they sent me and this is the B size. If you go on their website, they offer different size spindles. And so this is the one that fits a SRAM road crank set such as the rival that I'll be using this on. With the spindle, you also get some detailed yet simple installation instructions. So now, let's get these installed. All right, so the first thing that we'll do is just remove the crank set as it is now. So this uses an eight millimeter Allen wrench. And like I said, the SRAM rival, the bolt is on the drive side. So most of the other SRAM crank sets that I've used to include forest road and the mountain bike ones, the bolt's actually on the non-drive side. Okay, so, like I said, the drive side does not have a spindle attached to it. So I'll take off the spacer that's on the drive side and take out the non-drive side. So with Rival on the non-drive side, you have a little spacer here and then you've got this adjustable spacer. So I loosen this with the two millimeter Allen wrench and then you can just pull it off. And this is what allows you to take up any space. So. We'll just pull that off and we're going to use that on the new crank arm. So what we're going to do now is essentially convert this drive side crank arm without a spindle to one that has a spindle and that way we can put the stages power meter on the other side. So I'm just going to apply some grease to the spindle and by the way the width of the B spindle is 113.5 millimeters and it says it on the side. It's kind of hard to see in the video. Then we'll just take the eight millimeter Allen wrench and tighten this spindle onto this crank set. In case you don't know, SRAM gives the torque specs on the top cap here, which is 54 Newton meters. So now I'll go ahead and slide this spacer back on and I'll put it on the bike. I always like to put a really thin coating of grease on a spindle and that way it'll go on easier and I'll slide this around with my fingers and then just wipe off some of the excess. Okay, now it's time to install this on the bike. And just a little tech note here, anytime you remove a crank, it's always a good idea to put some rubbing alcohol on a paper towel or a rag and just wipe your bearings off clean and wipe around the bottom bracket since you normally don't have access to that. And I've already done that. Sometimes you have to use a mallet when doing this. So I've got a rubber mallet and I'll just put a little rag over it to, for extra protection. There we go. Before I put the non-drive side crank arm on, I'm just gonna put a little bit of grease on the spindle and also inside where the threads are. Before I put the crank arm on, I gotta put my spacers on. So I'll put the smaller one on first. And by the way, stages included one with the spindle. So I'm just gonna use that one. And then I'll slide the adjustable spacer on, push it all the way in. All right, now it's time to put the stages power meter on. And before I do, I'm gonna remove this little 
thing here that protects the battery from activating while it's shipping. And by the way, this thing is crazy light. Like it's, it's a lot lighter than I even thought it would be. And then I'll take a 10 millimeter Allen wrench on this side and tighten it up. And this one gets tightened to 40 Newton meters. And I'm gonna check the torque specs with my torque wrench after I get everything snugged up. Now I'm just gonna back this adjustable spacer out to take out any slack there. And then once I have it to where I want it, I will tighten it up with my two millimeter Allen wrench. Now just wipe off any excess grease around the bottom bracket shell and the bearings. All right, make sure my torque specs are good. Have to go a little bit tighter. And the very last thing that we'll do is of course put the pedal on. And in case you don't know, a left pedal is a reverse thread, whereas a right pedal is a normal thread. And by the way, do not tighten your pedal crazy tight. That's one of the most over tightened components on a bicycle. So that is how you put a stages power meter on a bike that has a spindle attached to the non-drive side crank arm. After I get some ride time on this power meter, I'll post a follow-up review of it and also show how it connects to my Garmin. I'll be using mainly the Garmin Edge 1030 because that's what I use on the gravel bike. And now I'm already looking forward to my next interval session. Questions or comments that you have about this video or the stages power meter, go ahead and drop those below. Thanks for watching.